guys, it's Sarah. Okay, quick disclaimer before I start this video. My voice kind of hurts today. It's very scratchy. I think it's allergies. So I'm going to be talking more quieter in this video. But anyway, as you can tell by the title, I'm doing a bunch of facts about me that you might know or that you might not know. Some might be kind of cheesy and some might be kind of dark, but all in all, they're very honest. And I think it's a great way for you guys to get to know me and for me to open up to you guys. This was also requested by one of you guys, so that's why I was inspired to make this. So without further ado, let's get into it. So fact number one, my favorite genre of music is EDM and pop. I really like this type of music because I get in such a good mood when I listen to it, it makes me dance, and it just clears all the shit in my head. Fact number two, I can stay in a bad mood for a few hours. Now this is something that is not good, but like let's just say that my dad or mom put me in a bad mood in the morning, it will take me a few hours to actually get over it and act like a normal person again. Fact number three, I can't dance at all, but I love dancing regardless. I know this sounds cheesy but I just feel so alive when I dance like if I'm going through some shit I just dance in my room or I go out with my friends and dance I don't know it's kind of like therapeutic to me like I get away from reality fact number four I have an eye condition called nystagmus and because I was diagnosed with this since birth I had to undergo a lot of early intervention to get the help that I needed. So basically, I'm not gonna go into it that much in this video. I'll make a whole separate video about what nystagmus is, but it's basically when your eyes just kind of twitch and they're only twitching because they're trying to focus. And because my eyesight was so poor at such a young age, I needed the early intervention. And I'm not too specific on how they helped me, but all I know is that it was a mixture between occupational therapy and physical therapy. And I had that all throughout elementary school as well. Fact number five, I talk out loud to myself probably more than I should. Basically, the way I'm talking to you guys right now, this is kind of how I sometimes talk to myself. Fact number six, I started working when I was just 14 years old as a counselor at a kids camp. And I think when I started, I wasn't earning any money, but I think the following year I started to get paid. Fact number seven, I got acne at an early age of 10 years old. I had it all over my face, my neck, my shoulders, and my back. Thankfully today, I only get a pimple like here and there sometimes, but I'm so thankful it's not as bad as it was before. Fact number eight, I dressed really, really preppy in high school and then suddenly switched to a soft goth style. I had a lot of switching going on in that time. Fact number nine, my hair was completely white when I was younger and then it started to get darker once I turned six years old. Fact number 10, when I was in elementary school, I had to get speech class because of my stuttering. I mainly stu- I mainly stuttered on W's, I'd go what, 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 and even to this day when I make YouTube videos, I still stutter and that's why I have to make a lot of jump cuts. Fact number 11, when I'm having a text conversation with somebody, I end up staring at the text messages waiting for them to respond. This isn't all the time, just sometimes. Fact number 12, I'd rather text than call. A lot of people tell me, oh, just call the person to ask how they're doing. No, I only call friends if it's birthdays or a special occasion. Fact number 13, I'm a late riser and that might be because I go to bed late. During the summer, typically I go to bed around 2 a.m. and then I'd like to get up around 10 a.m., which that might not be late to some people, it's subjective, but my parents would prefer that I'm out of bed at nine. <laughs> Fact number 14, I have anxiety. And I know this can be an iffy topic because nowadays you have everybody saying they have anxiety, but I'm not the type of person to make up a mental illness for attention. Like, first of all, I wish I didn't have it. And second of all, when people tell me, oh, I didn't know you have anxiety, it looks like you don't even have it. I am so happy to hear that. I don't want to look like I have anxiety, so that's a compliment to me. But um, things are still a little bit challenging for me, but the goal to anxiety is to beat your anxiety and to improve on it and get better step by step. And I can say that I've definitely improved and that shows with what things I can do now. Fact number 15, I had four cats and two years ago my cat Daisy died from a sickness that she had. So now I have three cats, Joey, Sage, and Clover and I love them dearly. I know people say this all the time, but they're literally like my children. Fact number 16, I am an impulse texter. Once you text me, I'm like on it, like the next 30 seconds, and I will want to keep texting you. Some people just text to ask how you're doing, and then they'd rather call you. I'm the type of person who will just keep texting, and I'll text right away, and I'm like glued to my phone. I wouldn't say this is bad, but it's something I probably need to control. Fact number 17, one day in high school, I considered that I was gender fluid. And when I look back on that, 
I realized that I didn't know the definition of what gender fluid was, and I cringed because I am not gender fluid. And I don't know why I thought I was, but I was convinced I was for like a day in high school. Okay. Fact number 18, because of my poor eyesight, I actually rely more on motor memory and touch when doing my makeup. Because when I do my makeup, I'm not wearing my glasses, so it's very hard to see what I'm doing in this region of my face. So because I've been doing makeup for so long, I found a technique that works for me. So I'm kind of relying more on movements that I do than actually seeing. Fact number 19, I love writing and making music. So if you guys follow my social media or my Instagram, when 16 met 18, Shameless plug. <laughs> if you guys follow my story, you probably see me post a lot of music I'm working on, beats I'm making, piano covers I do, or just any song I'm working on. I'm very into music. I was going to major in it, but I do that a lot on the side just as a passion. Fact number 20, I cried over a girl who I liked in high school who I thought I was in love with. By the way, I was in 10th grade, which made me about 15 or 16. Like basically, I was laying on my bed at night and I just kept thinking about this girl and I start crying and saying, oh my God, I'm in love with her. I'm in love with her. And like, what? I'm telling you, cringe. Fact number 21, school has always been a bit more of a struggle for me as opposed to my brothers, let's say. Like I have to work really, really hard just to get a B in a class. And even throughout middle school, I had to be in some applied math classes. And I think in 10th grade, I was in applied geometry class. Math and science have never come easy to me. But when it came to the arts, like music, art, anything like that, I was a pro at it. That stuff came really easy to me. So kids out there, just know that if you're bad at math or science, I'm sure you're good at other things too because intelligence goes far beyond the books. Fact number 22, I'm more of an introvert and I tend to do more individualistic activities. Did I say that word correctly? Individualistic? Individual activities. Like yes, I love my friends and I love hanging out with them from time to time, but a lot of times, a lot of the activities that I love to do, I like doing them by myself. Love being by myself. And that's probably why I started YouTube. <laughs> Fact number 23, I have a lot of empathy and I tend to people read a lot. So basically people who are introverts and they keep to themselves, they tend to people watch more, they tend to observe more, they listen more than they talk. So I know that with me and throughout a lot of my life, I've observed people and I got to learn more about who they are and little micro expressions because I was observing more than in the main crowd. That doesn't mean I was a loner, but I really just like to people watch. So that's why I've gotten better at reading people. Fact number 24, I took French for six years in school and only retained two years of it. I don't know if that's the school system failing me or if it's just because I didn't retain it well. But what I can tell you is that I learned more from an app in one day than probably a year in a class. That's all I gotta say. Fact number 25, I'm not really much of a hug person or a physical touchy kind of person. I know most girls are, but I'm not for some reason. I will only hug you if you are my close friend. I mean, I have some friends where if I'm saying hi or bye to them, I won't even hug them. I don't find it necessary. Whereas some girls, their entire friendship relies on physical touch. But I've just never felt like I had to communicate with people that way. I feel like I bond with people through humor. But hey, I mean, if you want to give me a hug, I'll be fine with that. <laughs> it's just that I might not initiate it. Fact number 26. I'm gay, but not out to my parents. And I said that quietly because they're in the room next door. But um, all my friends know. Fact number 27, I got my tonsils and adenoids taken out when I was just seven years old. And literally after the operation, it felt like there was some weird thing in the back of my throat, but I got to eat ice cream for like a whole week, so that was pretty awesome. Fact number 28, my eardrum burst on a family vacation in Maine. It was the most painful experience of my life. Like guys, just imagine an eardrum bursting. <laughs> it was to the point where I wanted to rip off my ear. Worst vacation ever. Fact number 29, I've been playing piano for about 15 years. Yes, this year marks the 15th year. And you know what? Because I've been playing for so long, I should really do piano covers on this channel. I mean, I'm gonna be teaching piano lessons this summer anyway, so why not? Fact number 29, 
I've only ever had one girlfriend before. We talked for like six months, but then we're actually together for like a month. I, I don't really remember. Fact number 30, even though I currently identify as gay, in middle school, I still had a crush on two guys. This was before I even had an identity. I didn't know what all that was, so... Yeah, but that was a long time ago. Fact number 31, and this kind of goes with the last fact. Even though I had a crush on two guys in middle school, I still have never identified myself as straight. Fact number 32, I tend to overanalyze and overthink things that don't need to be overanalyzed. And overthinking and overanalyzing is a main thing that comes with anxiety. That one's a no-brainer. Fact number 33, it's sometimes difficult for me to make new friends, but I'm okay with that. I'm not lonely. I have friends. It's just difficult for me to meet new ones. Maybe I tend to cling on to the ones I already have too much. I don't know. Fact number 34, I take a lot of things that people say to me personally, but I'm still trying to work on that. I need to know that just because someone says something, I don't need to take it personal. I should learn to laugh more. Fact number 35, I had to undergo counseling my junior year of college due to the anxiety that I had. And to be honest, it really helped and I'm really glad I did it. So guys, if you need help out there, go use the help that is offered to you. That's why they have it. Fact number 36, my dream is to go on a cruise and just travel around to different ports, maybe to the Caribbeans, maybe some European countries. I don't know, just anywhere out of the US. Fact number 37, I can't leave the house unless I have my eyebrows on. Like I have to at least do that much makeup. I know, it sounds dumb. Fact number 38, my goal is to either rent an apartment or buy a house, whatever, and have one room in that place to be like my film room where I get like a green screen, I get the lighting and all the cool film equipment, and I just make that my room. Just my room for filming and creating and making stuff where I can work on my computer. Like that's awesome to me. Like I would love that to be like a project at some point. Obviously when I'm financially stable. Fact number 39, my favorite part about my face is my eyebrows and my lips. And the reason why I have a favorite part about my face is because sometimes when I feel insecure about the way I look, I like to find parts about my face that look good and that always makes me feel better. Fact number 40, my favorite part about my personality is my humor. So that kind of goes along with the last fact. Fact number 41, I'd go straight for Harry Styles. And I know, everybody would. I'm sure you guys were expecting that one. Fact number 42, I came out to my mom as Pan when I was 15 years old and I sounded really confused while confronting her about it. I was an undercover gay. Fact number 43, I didn't know I was gay until freshman year of college. Yes, it took me till I was 18. Which to be honest, is still kind of young. There's like no set age to know or to find out what you are. So please, if you guys are watching this, don't feel like there's pressure to come out. There's no set date. Fact number 44, I really want to adopt a beagle. Like I said, I have three cats right now, so a dog would not get along with the cats that I have, but someday I just want to adopt a little beagle. Those dogs are so cute. I know dogs are high maintenance, but it's worth it. Fact number 45, I've been verbally bullied in elementary school. I mean, first of all, who hasn't? But I remember this one girl who was verbally bullying me on the bus, and then this one day I went up to her and I said, well, I heard you peed in the gym. And then she looked so taken aback and offended, she stopped talking to me. And that was it. It was done. She stopped bullying me. So seriously guys, if someone's bullying you at school, just tell them that you saw them pee in the gym. Worked for me. <laughs> Fact number 46, I used to have two black labs when I was younger, but they died by the time I was like two or three, so I barely remember them. So I only remember them by looking at pictures, but that's what makes me want a dog. Fact number 47, I get very emotionally attached and clingy to certain people. I don't know why this happens. I don't know if there's a certain type of person. I haven't really analyzed that. It just happens and I kind of hate it because usually the people I get emotionally attached with or clingy, they don't feel that way about me. It's not mutual. So it's a very hard situation. Fact number 48, I had a crush on a gay guy this past year. Yup. And that goes along with the other fact on how I get emotionally attached and clingy to people. I don't know why. It also doesn't make sense because I'm gay, he's gay. Why did I like him? I don't know. But he's a sweet kid and I'm still friends with him, so shout out to you. He's probably watching this and thinking, why the fuck did you just say that? 
online. Fact number 49, I'd rather wear more clothes than less. And what I mean by that is I'd rather wear pants than shorts. And it's not that I'm insecure with my legs, I just think pants are more comfortable. And sometimes I just don't want to shave. Fact number 50, I lost a friend to a hit and run car accident in 2012. That one was tough to say. Fact number 51, I barely watch TV because YouTube is my TV. So if you ask me, hey, do you know this new show? I probably don't know it. Fact number 52, I am always making myself busy. The reason why I keep myself busy is because if I'm not doing anything, I tend to overthink a lot. So I like to keep my brain busy and like distract myself from negative thoughts. And finally, fact number 53, and I know this is a weird number to end on, but my goal for myself is just to be more positive to myself, positive to other people, and to be less jealous. And I'm still working on all of those things. It's just a personal goal that I need to work on. And that's partly why I'm making this video. So you guys maybe feel less alone. Maybe you guys can relate to it. If not, maybe it was just interesting to watch. But anyway, guys, that is it for today. Sorry, there was a lot of facts. I heard people like longer YouTube videos these days, so it works. But yeah, write down below if you related to any of these or if you want to write your own facts down below. Just write whatever you want. And like always, I make a new video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description, and I will see you guys later. Bye.